Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. In this video, we will discuss and see in detail how the new features for Nugget version 5.2, which is the latest as of making this video work. Nugget is completely free and we are at its official GitHub page. This video is for educational and informational purposes. And the only aim of this guide is to let users customize their iOS devices without a jailbreak with poster board, springboard tweaks and so on. Also, if you want to use the mobile guest all tweaks, the maximum supported version is iOS 18.1.1. But except mobile guest all tweaks, all other features work on all versions of iOS 18 or higher. The minimum iOS version required is iOS 17.0. Requirements for Windows are really simple. You can see that you only need iTunes. You can install iTunes directly from the Microsoft Store or you can get it from the official Apple's website. Also, as you can see, I did not install Python separately because Python is built into Nugget for Windows. Now, from its official GitHub page, go to releases. You see the latest 5.2 release. You can see we have a lot of new features and changes. The highlighted features include the new poster board templates, which allow you to customize aspects of your wallpapers. We have the new option to allow you to add bigger video files for live photo wallpapers. The poster board no longer requires clicking the modify button to apply changes, so it works straight away. Now it's easy to reset or clear the poster board, wallpapers and so on to return back to stock. We have the new option to ignore the poster board video frame limit. Now you will see live progress when you apply changes to your device using Nugget and so on. We also have some bug fixes as you can see it right here. Now simply scroll down and choose the file according to your operating system. So I'm using Windows. So I will get this Nugget underscore Windows dot zip file. All right, as you can see, I already got it. I simply right clicked and extract all and I got this folder. Now simply go to the extracted folder, go to Nugget. Before opening it, Please connect your device via USB and unlock it. Then right click Nugget and then choose Run as Administrator. All right, guys, as you can see, my device is right here connected. I was 18.3 rest assured it will work on ios 18.4.1 also or higher so as you can see we have the poster board option here in our previous videos we already discussed about how to choose attendees and the video wallpapers those guides are in the description and in the cards above we have the new option for templates also if you go to settings and check this option right here you can see that we have the new option to ignore poster board frame limit. So it is not now limited to 300 frames. If you check this option right here, when you try to apply the video wallpapers, you can simply hit discover wallpapers right here. From there, you can get the dot batter files for templates, simply hit it. And then from there, you can go to templates. And from there, you can get the community made template wallpapers. So you can simply get it from here. And then from there, you can simply hit import templates dot batter files, which you just got hit open. And now from there, you can completely customize it to your liking with blur amount, home screen zoom or wake always on display zoom. So you can change the sliders from here. You can choose an image with a gradient effect like so. And then to apply, you can simply hit apply and then hit apply changes. But make sure before you apply, please turn off find my iPhone or iPad. And then after you apply changes, you can turn it on safely. Apply changes. You can see the progress right here. Do not unplug. After rebooting, simply lock your device, press and hold, then hit this plus button. And here in collections, you will see your gradient wallpapers. You can also now add your own videos as 10 D's files. It is easy. You can simply zip it and then rename the extension to dot And then you can import it from here and then apply it. Now, if you want to go back to stock, you can simply hit clear action menu, select what you want to clear like collections, then hit apply, then hit apply changes. You see after the reboot, the custom collections are now cleared. 
that's all for this video if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself